And what is up, everybody? Jeremy here, excited to bring you another Starfield shipbuilding video to you. It is Valentine's Day, and yes, we have the Heart Seeker coming at you, a Valentine's Day themed ship. Also part of the Dragon Thorn Mercenary series that we're working on for um, Lunar New Year. So yeah, a lot of cool things happening. But yes, um, you're the dragon coming at you, everybody. Uh, of course, if you want to find all the parts that are used in this build, you can find it in a Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. This is a glitch ship build, so you can find a link to, all, uh, to a guide that describes all the glitches that we like to use up above or even down below in the description. So yes, that is it everybody. Let's get to the build. Doing some more unique stuff today. Um, so let's show it up. Let's go ahead and show it off. We are going to separate this piece or separate the ship into our main port starboard. As you can see, I didn't grab enough of here. Port starboard and um, I guess I'll just do that. <laughs> it's like port starboard and middle sections. Let's see if I can grab the rest of this this time. Can you do better, Jeremy? Can you know, can you like do better? Hey, cool. All right, let's move this to the back. And let's grab the piece that moved to the side. This is our starting piece. It is going to be Hope for Landing Bay. And right on top of that, we're going to bring over the Galactic. Nova Galactic on one berth. Into the front, we're going to bring over the, van <laughs> the, the, the Magellan C2X cockpit. Was it the C2X? Really? Hold on a second. Was this the C2X? Yeah, it was C2X. No, C2. This was a C2. Huh. 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 Let's get it right. Let's get it right. Okay, so let's just make sure we got that. Hey, there we go. There we go. That's the right one. We're using <laughs> the most basic. Of course, you could choose to choose uh, whatever one you like. But okay, behind this, we're going to bring over the Nova Galactic Control Station. All right, and below this, the Nova Galactic. Below, <laughs> below that, we're gonna bring over Nova Galactic Workshop two by one. Um, to the front, we're gonna bring over the Nova Cowling one L in its top four orientation. Right behind that, we have the NG two Doctor in its top orientation. We're gonna bring this to the side as we have some potential glitching to do. We're gonna move over Demo Spine B or Spine D to the back of the Galactic Control Station, and let's see. I know we have this part, which is going to be fun. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Um, what do I start with here? Let's start with that. Just to move this. To move that. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so what we're going to do is just um, let line things up. Get the R4000 Alpha, Alpha Grav Drive. We're just going to put that the back of the Nova Galactic Control Station and swing the Hope 5 landing gear underneath and then pull the R4000 graphic Alpha Grav Drive into the back. All right, so that's how we're going to start with that. Um, or is it? Wait, where's that? I'm missing something. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait a second. Did I delete something by accident? Or is it, is it hidden? Here? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I knew I was missing something. All right, there. That's what it is. So, yeah, nice little glitch section right here. We start with the 500T HE3 tank. That's what it was. We swing the Hope 5 landing gear underneath, and then we bring the R4000 Alpha Grav Drive right behind it. Whew, give me a little heart attack. It's like, what's going on? What's going on? Missing pieces. All right, and then... Um, should we start glitching? I think it's time to start glitching a little bit. Start glitching a little bit. All right, here we go. We're going to bring over the Nova Calling 2L in its top aft orientation. And we're going to use the flip glitch to bring it into this spot right here. So to do the flip glitch, one, you need to have the module already in the workspace. Two, you need to have an available snapping point to, to put it into. And then three, you need to be able to flip it. All right, so I'm tapping Z to flip it on the keyboard. So bring it in, flip once, flip twice, and cancel the movement by tapping either escape or tab. 
and double click the ship, make sure it's in there and it's in there. Let's do the same thing on controller. That's right, we're gonna show everything right here. Tap A to select the piece, tap Y to flip it once, flip it twice, then tap B to cancel it, tap LB to make sure everything's in there, and it is, it certainly is. All right, next up, um, what should we glitch next? We need to use, um, let's go ahead and, and um, let's go ahead and glitch this guy. We're gonna bring in the 60S protector shield generator, bring it over, the HE3 tank, the 500T HE3 tank, we're gonna select this. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to use the duplication buddy glitch and we're gonna use our engines as our buddy. So rules for the duplication buddy glitch, one, you need to be able to duplicate the piece that you're working with that you wanna merge in the star yard. And there's multiple ways to do that, but if I hit, hit control on my keyboard right here, you can see down below, right underneath me, I have undo, redo, and duplicate. So yes, I have the option to duplicate. I think all the pieces here are, I'm at, I'm at the landing pad with star, uh, landing pad with ship builder at my outpost. So I should have the ability, and all these pieces came from here. So I should, able, I should have the ability to duplicate anything. So I'm going to select the shield generator and shift click drag to select the bottom white dwarf 3015 engine. And if hit control and then G, it should duplicate down and it did and hit enter to accept it. And you can see the pieces in there. All right. So um, the reason why, the reason why I like to have like, like one thing that you should note about the duplication buddy glitch or even any duplication glitch is that it likes to move into an open spot first. So if I didn't have any of these engines on top of this one, if I click this and shift click drag this one, I bet it'll go up first. It surely did. Because it will match either the duplication buddy or what's around it. So it'll choose whatever one's, anyone thing that's there. So um, now I'll, I'll do the same thing, but this time the controller. So I'm gonna select the, the module I wanna duplicate with the controller by tapping RB and select the duplication buddy, the one on the bottom by tapping RB. Make sure your cursor is also over the pieces you wanna duplicate or it won't do anything. Then tap Y to duplicate it down, then tap A to accept it, and there it is. So that is your duplication buddy glitch. And what we're gonna do now is do the same thing with all these engine parts. We're gonna duplicate it three times. It's gonna have, <laughs> and oh yeah, think about the duplication buddy. You need to make sure you have a, um, open slot on the top and bottom in order to do it. So select the piece you want to duplicate and shift the drag to the one that you want to, your buddy. You're going to duplicate it once, duplicate it twice, duplicate it three times because we have, we're using three of these engines. Oh, I forgot to cover that one up. It's fine. Do it one more time. All right. And then I can delete all these engines. Don't need them anymore. It's cool. Oh, I actually do need, oh, that's all right. I need to, I need to put this one in. Going to put this one down. All right, so I'm just want to I'm just want to line it up first, and then I think I can just use a regular duplication glitch to move it up once. Let's see if we can do it twice. Nope. All right. So the duplication glitch is basically the same thing as a duplication buddy glitch, only that you're just lining up the item, and it needs to us it usually needs to move into a spot a snap point that's open. For the duplication buddy glitch, you can move any piece to any closed spot. So I'm gonna do that first and then use the duplication buddy glitch to move this up one more time. And I'll use this now for R4000 grab drive as my buddy. I'll put one underneath so that way it forces its way, this, will, this piece will force its way up. Shift click dragged to select the other piece. Control G to duplicate, it did, accept it. And delete the one at the bottom. Double click the ship to make sure everything's good. Everything's looking good, nice. Nice, delete our helpers there. Awesome. I think we're almost done with it. Almost, I think we're almost done here. All right, so next part I need to do for the middle section is, okay, I need another buddy. So I'm gonna line up the tail A because like I want it to be merging this piece and then I'm gonna use this as a buddy. So I'm using this one to just help align, just help align the piece so that it can just easily drop down into the correct positioning. Click this, shift click drag the other your helper, duplicate it down, double click the ship, make sure everything's good. It looks like it is. Delete our all our helper pieces. And that should finish this. 
last one. Hope Tech knows B could bring it into this position. You use the flip glitch to bring it in. So flip once, flip twice, cancel. And it looks like it's in there. And we're gonna move in our PBO 300 auto alpha turrets onto the tail. And it's gonna be facing the back to shoot anything behind us. Okay. That completes the sides, right? Or the middle? That looks like it does. Um, let's see here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is gonna move in the tail. I don't think there's anything that's there. So yeah, these are Deimos bumpers. I'm just gonna move it in to form the tail of our little dragon-like ship here. And then um, start forming up all this that's happening, all this action. So let's see, let's see, how do I go about this? There's a lot of things happening here. So let me just go ahead and break. And it's exactly the same thing on the other side. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and break this, this section up a little bit. So let's kind of see what's going on here. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, so that's, what, that's, what, that's what was there. And then you'll see that there is a, there should be a nice little glitched piece right here. Yep, there's the alpha. Alpha 3, PBO 300 uh, Auto Alpha Turret. So I glitched it in there, and I'll, I'll talk about that when we get there. All right. Starting up. What should I start with first? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So we'll move this in. This is going to be the Nova Kaling 2L. Um, and it's port aft orientation. We're going to bring over the Nova Kaling on the other side, uh, in the front of it, 2L, and it's starboard port orientation. To this piece right here, we're going to bring over the Deimos bumper using the flip glitch. We're going to flip once, flip twice, cancel, bring it in, and then we have this guy, the Deimos wing A, in its port orientation. Bring it in, flip once, flip twice, cancel, and that should be good there. Perfect. Um, now, let's go ahead and move in. I think we need to move in our... Um, other side of this. So we need to bring it in over the Nova Cowling 2L. So they have the button on the bottom. And then we have one more. Where is it? Oh. This one's supposed to be up there, but that's okay. Right? Yeah, this one's supposed to be up there. So FY, this one also has a um, PBO 175 Auto Helion beam attached to it. Yep. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this Nova Cowling 2L bring it to the front um, we need to use the flip glitch oh there's two there's two PBO 175 auto hell and BM stuff no that's not right yeah <laughs> it's like this so I, I took one that's supposed to be on the bottom and I moved it to the top so this is supposed to be this this one was supposed to be on top based on what I was going here alright so doesn't matter Nova Calling 2L starboard for orientation bring it in and then this would have a PBO 175 auto hell and beam on the bottom of it alright Okay, now let's go ahead and bring over the Pinpoint 3G landing gear in its four orientation. Bring it to the side, that open slot spot right there. So we're going to bring it in, flip once, flip twice, cancel. And it should be in there. And then we're going to do, because we had to follow a specific order to do this. Because like, or I guess you didn't. No, nah, it didn't really matter. So the next part we had to bring in this Pinpoint 3G landing gear. Bring it in, flip once or twice, cancel, bring it in, and then bring back the Nova Calling, flip once or twice, cancel, bring it in. Now, we need to bring in the um, Pinpoint 3G. Or not Pinpoint, PBO 300 Auto, Auto Alpha Turret. Actually, let's move in the stuff first. So, there was a funny order I had to... I had to finish off this wing. So I'm going to move the Vanguard Obliterate Auto Projectors that we see here. And so this is a little bit of a funny order that I had to follow. So what I'm doing is that I'm putting these two guys here. But I need to use a flip glitch to move these guys in. Right? So what I did, and this is kind of, the, yeah. So I'll move the PBO 175 Auto Hell MD because I need this to work. So I'm gonna move this off. <laughs> All right, we're gonna undo a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna move this. So this is right, this is right here, right? So what I need to do is move it up one, 
so it has a snap point that I can bring this into, right? The flip glitch needs a, an available snapping point to snap to. If I leave it in here first, right? This thing, oh, I, I can't put it in there. So I'm going to move it to the side, bring it in, flip one, flip twice, cancel, and it's in there. Then move it back, flip one, flip twice, cancel, and it's connected to the whole ship. Now I need to do something on the same side. So what I did instead, I just flipped it. All right, flip that. Bring it in, flip once or twice, cancel, and then these points start sharing, and then flip this back to the way it kind of was, flip once or twice, cancel, and it's in there. Cool. And then I can move this back, move these pieces back in, flip once or twice, cancel, there's another one, flip once or twice, cancel. Then I have the PBO 175, bring it back to this current spot, and then instead of doing the same thing to the bottom, right, I delete these. And then what I'm going to do is select all of these and just use the duplication glitch to move them all down once. So I hit Control G, duplicated, perfect, hit Enter. So that's that's one way. It's like, all right, cool. I'm doing the same thing on the bottom. I don't want to just do the like do that, run through that whole process again. I'll just use the duplication glitch. So here we go. Controller, hit R B for all four of these pieces. Tap Y, move down. Tap A to accept it and tap LB and make sure everything's in there. It is. Looks good. Perfect. Let's move the um, Vanguard Obliterator R projectors back into place. So it's on the top and bottom. And now let's worry about the PBO 300 Auto Alpha Turret. Now, here's the thing. If you don't care about having it seen, you can just go ahead and just place it. You just place it. That's fine, right? I wanted it facing a side, and I wanted I. Visually, I didn't like it, so I said, all right, me, I want to hide it. So this is what I did. So these pieces, which is interesting, is that they have four weapon mounts, but you can, like, you can kind of glitch it inside. And I think when you do, you can have, like, you can actually have bottom and top of the same point. So what I'm doing for this one is that I'm flipping it so it faces towards that direction, right? So, um, for your turrets, it doesn't matter if there's obstructions in the way, it can still fire that direction. So I'm just gonna bring it in. So this is where you want it to be. That's the starting point, and I'm gonna glitch it inside the Nova Kalen. So I'm using the flip glitch to move it in first, make sure it's pointed at the right direction. Escape, and it should be in there, it looks good. Right, so in this piece, you can, you can. So like, the reason why I want it to go lower is because if we're in battle, you start seeing this like pop outside of the Nova Cowling module, right on the top. So I want to hide it, and I'm going to get my buddy. So I'm going to use the duplication buddy glitch. But first, as as identified before, um, these guys like to go into open spots first. So what I'm going to do is, uh, oops, oh. I'm gonna duplicate one and put one and have it on the bottom so that it doesn't duplicate down in here anymore. So it's forced to be in the spot facing up and we'll show that right here. So I'm gonna select the, the, the turret, shift click drag, select the bottom piece here, control G to hopefully duplicate it down. You can see it, you can see that duplicated down so it's right there. All right, that's the perfect spot that I want it to be. Oops, delete the whole module. So you can see it. So there it is. So you might see. I mean, well, you can't really see it, like when you're in, when you're flying, or but yeah, it's in there. Or did I? No. So yeah, that's 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 the spot where I wanted it to be. Because like if I have it here, closer, then you'll start seeing it inside the um, the habs, and I don't want to do that. I don't want I don't want it shown in the habs. Wait, my mobility is 62? What's going on? Oh, of course. All right, so that's that. Move this back into place. Flip once, flip twice, cancel it. Should be in there. Perfect. Delete these guys. Oh, do I only have... Oh, I only have two engines right now. Shoot. Let me see if I can duplicate this at first. All right. I accidentally deleted an engine. There needs to be three. So I'm going to just duplicate one down here. Or duplicate it up, then duplicate it down. All right. Now there should be three in there. All right, that's, there we go. There we go. Now the middle section is up. All right. So that's that. 
and you just do the same thing on every on the other side. I'm just gonna try to select everything here and just move it into place. Let's find out how we can do that. But yeah, absolutely the same thing done on the other side that we did there. Hey! <laughs> There you go, everybody, and that is your Heart Seeker. Let's go seek some hearts to destroy. Why do I? Why do I? Why did I spend more? Why did? What did I? Did I purchase something? There's less mess. There's more cargo. What? Hold on. Okay, I know I changed the cockpit. Is that the reason why? Magellan C2. Magellan C2. <laughs> We're going with this version. This is going to be on the sheet. Whatever is on this, it's going to be there. So I had less car. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. But I'm not sure how I spent money. Yep. Oh well. But yeah, you could choose it. If you want to choose another cockpit, that's fine. 90 no mo we got 99 mobility. I didn't say... If I really wanted 100, I could, but no. So it, it would have been like the easiest ones if you really want 100, like these bumpers. Just delete these bumpers, right? But I decided to keep it in because, I don't know, can you tell the difference between 99 and, and 100 mobility? There it is, everybody. Let's go ahead and take a tour and take a little, and take it to battle. Let's go. Woo. All right. Entering the Heart Seeker. And there's a docker up there. That's the, the uh, what was it? The bay thing? Land, landing bay? <laughs> landing bay area. Uh, here is our control station. And down Hello. below we have our workstation. And yeah, there we go, Gary's. There we go. And Have any new books for me? No, Cora. Good to see you. And then that's it. Just go into the cockpit. There. Oh, hey, Andreja. Relax. I'm gonna. I, for, I forget. I'm gonna wait 100 UT hours because I totally forgot to reset. We're gonna take this to Crix. Do some Not stuff in Cent, uh, Serpentis. And I think that's where we, that's where we want to go. I think that's it. Hey, relax, guys. Relax. Relax. All right, let's take a seat. Let's bring out our battle music. Don't forget, you can find hey, all. Oops. Wanna hear a joke? Uh, sure. And you can find all the parts that we're using in a Google Sheet, which is fine in the description below. And of okay. course, if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like the video too, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As everything does help out. Let's turn up the battle music. Let's turn up the game music. All right. I think so. We don't need as much charge for obliterator objectors. That's fine. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's go ahead and take this bad boy to crits. Wait, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Check out this ship. What are you? Dare they carry all? All right. All right. Now let's go ahead and Chris. Do this. Yeah. 
gain shields a little bit, hopefully. Oh, we just... Oh, was that the last ship? Wait, was that the last ship? Oh. <laughs> okay, no, okay, there's a few more. There's a few more. Alright, we're good. We're good. I, was like, I was like shocked. Are we done already? Take its bad boy to Serpentis. But yeah, we are playing very hard, by the way. So, and as and as I said. It really, the skills is what drives the power of your ship. That's that's what really does it. Boosting away. Manual fire, let's go. Ah, oh, there he goes. Utter destruction. Let's still find one more set. Oh, this video good. Let's go check out some hospital activity. That's it! So fast. Wow. That is it, everybody. That is going to be your video of the Heart Seeker. Trying out some new things. Class C reactor with Class A engines. And Class C turrets added to our weapon uh, loadout with our standard uh, with our standard particle beam set up. But that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, you can find all the parts in this build found in a Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And, of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's everything does help out. Beyond that, guys, have yourselves an amazing day. We'll see you all next time. Peace out. And thank you so much for all of the support. As always, without you, we just wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you again real soon. Peace.